Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss the problem order by XOR, which is of code shape starters 83. It is a B problem in division 2. So the problem states that we are given three distinct integer A, B and C and we have to find any integer X which ranges from 0 to 2 to the power 30 such that A's or X should be less than B's or X should be less than C's or X. If no such X exists, we have to print minus 1. So the question is simple. We will move towards the approach of the question. So we are given A, B and C. A, B and C. Right. So as we have to do some operation with XOR. So we have to think bitwise what is happening inside. Suppose A is here. B is here and C is here so at max there can be 9 number of different ways in which the bits of ABC may vary means ABC can have 0 0 0 it can have it can be 0 0 1 or 0 1 0 or 0 1 1 So next it can be 100 zero zero or 101 zero one or 110 one or 111. These 8 combinations are possible, right? So if it is 000, zero, zero if we pass the, these are a particular sequence at the ith bit of the A, B and C. So see if a particular ith bit is of the form 0 0 0 and if we make the ith xor bit as 0 all we get 0 all get will get 1 because xor of 0 cross all this will get 1 if we make the ith bit of x as 1 then as it is different so it will make 1 initially all are same so it will make 0 but uh, the main objection here is when we will take XOR of A with X at this particular index we, we when we take XOR of B with X and or C with X all will have equal values at that particular bit in other words all will have equal uh, contribution at the ith bit there will be no any means there the when we take XOR at the ith bit we have to make the XOR of X and C should be greater so there is no effect of having 0 or 1 at this particular bit because all will have uh, same contribution of XOR we want to make the XOR of XOR of X, XOR C should be highest and XOR of X, XOR B should be greater than XOR of X, XOR A. We have to make XOR of A and X to be least. So now see in this particular case where a is 0, b is 0 means the ith bit value of a is 0, b is 0 and c is 1. So in this condition it is definitely true that we have to make the c largest and for making this particular value we can put the this particular bit of x as 0 because when we will take xor this 2 will we will get zero value but suppose this is the ith bit but the, when we take when will it will be xoring the ith bit and when the ith bit of x is zero and when will it xor with one 
so this bit of c will become 1 and others will be 0 right so the xor of c is having greater value so we will prefer to have 0 in this particular case right so here in the upwards we will write what the value of that particular x will be here it doesn't matter so we will write anything here 0 should be there so now see here when the case is a b and c this is very important and critical case see now there are two options whether to provide this particular ith bit to a or c or only to b right in other words whether we want to increase b only by providing 0 at that bit or we have to increase the value of xor by providing 1 at that particular bit when we will be having 1 in this particular bit of x so 1 xor 0 will become 1 so this particular bit will having advantage of a and c but we have to think when a case will come when we have to increase b c if the b and c are in the order like 0 1 0 and next is 0 0 1 right so in this case suppose this is a this is b and this is c now if we suppose take this as 0 so we will b will get advantage and it will become we will find it later and this is obvious that we will make it 0 so our x is coming out to be 0 right so it is becoming the same number b was 3 and c was 1 so xor is becoming 3 and it is 0 and it is become 1 which is not of the form this it is not satisfying so what we are observing here we want to give b advantage only if it is less than c the property of the bit addition is that you should know if there are n bit suppose 0 1 2 3 4 the property here says that the 2 to the power 4 if we set the uh, the fourth bit it will be always greater than the if although we add all the bits 2 to the power 0 2 to the power 1 2 to the power 2 and 2 to the power 3 that is 2 to the power 4 will be always greater than 2 to the power 3 plus 2 to the power 2 plus 2 to the power 1 plus 2 to the power 0 its max value will be just less than 2 to the power f means its value will be 2 to the power 4 minus 1 but it will be still less than 2 to the power 4 right so the here observation states that um, we have to give advantage to b or the value of xor x xor b should be we have to give advantage to that x x or b only if we have given c as a maximum number earlier so it depends whether this particular sequence has occurred or not if this particular sequence is occurred then we can give advantage to b and increase b because although we increase b how many times later if this is occurred it will be still less than this number i have told in this particular case right so here there are two options if this particular sequence 0, 0, 001 is occurred then we will give preference to b that is if it is occurred then we will set this particular bit of x to 0 otherwise it will set as 1 see why we are not setting you must have now understand why we are setting it as 0 when we are 
when we it is occurring 0 1 0 by setting 0 b is getting advantage and its well its xor value is increasing right but why we are not taking 1 at this case because you may think that by taking 1 a and c will increase and we have to increase c as many as possible right but there are few cases like in this we have to take x as 1 only we can't take x as 0 because in this case when we take when we give advantage to b then it's the b value will be have the xor value of b will be highest value because although we give uh, uh, preference to c later on its value will still be less than equal to the xor value of b that's the main observation here now the next case come when it's 0 1 1 obviously we we will be doing having preference to b and c both so the value will be 0 here also we want to increase b and c at once so the this bit will become 1 here the same case has come it is 0 1 0 1 so here also if this particular case when we have given preference to c then we can preference give it as 1 to increase b otherwise it is 0 now here it is obvious that we will increase c only the x or value of c so we will give 1 here no matter what we will give the answer is not gonna change so this was all about the explanation of all the particular types of a b and c values at the particular bit if you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment section i will move to the code coding part I have taken ABC and input and a variable count as 0 what is our in count means required X so here I have find it the 8th bit 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 value and C value at the particular ith bit I will be range from 29 to 0 it is given that x is always less than 2 to the power 30 so x the bit can value from 29 to 0 so see if all the bits are equal so no matters what we do to the current bit it won't affect our answer but if 8th bit is the minimum one that is 0 0 1 0 0 1 yeah 0 0 1 we have to make the particular bit to 0 so we are doing nothing if the first bit is the maximum one that is 1 0 0 in this case we are putting the current bit as 1 and we will increment our answer to the current bit like it is 0 0 0 0 0 1 and 1 1 1 so this is 0th bit this is 1 bit and this is 2nd bit our count variable we have the 2nd bit set so we have to increase our count variable to 2 to the power the current bit right now this case is when c is the maximum one that is 0 0 1 then if it is this case then we have to make sure that this particular case has come because we are checking in the next one when 0 1 0 has occurred we have to see whether this particular case has come or not this will show by z the next case is cv is minimum that is 1 1 and 0 so we have to make c as advantage and we have to make sure that this particular case has come to find the value of this particular case 0 1 0 and we are setting the x value the bit of x value as 1 now this case is when bv is minimum that is 101 in this case there are two conditions if 
this particular case has come or not if this particular case has come then we will set to 1 otherwise 0 right now this came bv is greater than maximum of av comma bv this case is this one 0 1 0 if the but if this case 0 0 1 has come before then we are setting to 0 yeah, I am doing nothing if this case has not come before so we are setting this bit as 1 so all the this particular sequence of bits has done then we will check whether our count is satisfying the given condition or not if it is satisfying then we will print our count variable otherwise we will print minus 1 so this was all about the solution of this problem i hope you like it please like the video and subscribe to my channel i will upload further solutions of the contest thank you